Alright guys, I heard you in the comments. Do not fear. The OG Kenny KO is back. I got flooded with comments. You guys wanted the old content, me talking about cycles, gear, and more veered away from the constant humor aspect. So, I figured we would do a little flashback in time and talk about a beginner steroid cycle, or what would be the best cycle I would advise for people wanting to start their first cycle. So, I get this DM all the time, people always want like test, trend, windstraw, like these crazy competitor, uh, like professional level cycles. But the thing is, everyone for some reason, every aspect of life thinks more is better. But when it comes to gear and the body, you can only progress so fast. So you might as well start at the bare minimum. And I guarantee like <laughs> my word on this, my life on this, you will probably gain just as quick results just taking like 300 to 400 milligrams per week of just testosterone than you would taking testosterone trend windstraw because not only are you frying your receptors and screwing yourself on later on down the road, but you're also gonna get a shit ton of side effects. So that's why I always recommend get your blood work before, get blood work during, and get blood work after. Yeah, make sure you guys do your research. You know, I wanna make sure everyone has the safest approach, approach possible. Um, make sure you know what you're doing. Have a coach. There's always people that try and look up on a form, how to take something, how to do an injection, what's the best way to do it. And really it all boils down to just actually knowing what dosage to take, for how long, have your post-cycle therapy, 100% have post-cycle therapy, and then also be at the right age. I have a ton of teenagers who DM me all the time asking about starting a cycle at 15, 16, 18, and my advice from what I've learned and all the pros I've been around, I'm talking pros all across the world, top tier competitors, I would say wait till you're like 25 um, to start your first anabolic cycle. Now, there's plenty of options. You could do steroids, SARMs, pro hormones, peptides. There's so many things. I'm sure there's gonna be many more to come out down the road. But wait till you know, you're know you a good age. I see people who haven't even peaked genetically, it, like natural and they want to hop on cycle but like there's no point the whole point of a performance enhancing substance is to get you past the point where you'd be able to naturally so another instance is if you're wanting to compete and you want to get your pro card like yeah i'll be the bearer of bad news you're probably going to have to take like some pretty extreme cycles if you want to do that especially if you're in men's open bodybuilding even men's physique now classic physique 212 whatever you're competing in but just i mean the whole moral of the story start low Beginner cycle, answer the question in like 10 seconds or less, testosterone. Just run a low dose testosterone, 300, 400 milligrams. You could even go lower. I guarantee you probably even see results at 250 milligrams of testosterone a week. So do that for your first cycle, 10 to 12 weeks. By the way, I'm not a doctor. Don't do anything without your doctor's supervision. This video is all for informational and educational purposes only. But yeah, and then have post-cycle therapy after. As I mentioned, get your blood work checked. And then after that testosterone cycle, you could debate, you know, starting something else. You could throw in Winstrol or Anavar with the testosterone. But I'd like to give you guys these videos because I get so many DMs about it, but it's hard to answer this in depth about these questions and just a simple DM. So hopefully you guys get some value out of this. Know to start at the very bottom. Trust me when I say start at the very bottom. Wait till you're later on in life. Wait till you naturally have a solid base and then enhance your physique to a point where you wouldn't be able to naturally if you are competing. If you are the guy going in the gym wanting to just pick up girls with a better physique, I mean, I know so many natural athletes that have incredible looking physiques naturally, and if that's your goal, just do it naturally. Like, what's the point in taking steroids or gear unless you're going like for a career in bodybuilding? Like, do you want to compete? Do you want to be on the Olympia stage? Do you want to be on the front of magazines? You know, those ones, yes, are going to require steroids, but for the vast majority of the population, the people that are requesting it, stay natural. That's my advice. But at the end of the day, it's your life. You can do with it what you please. Do what you want. I know there's probably still going to be teenagers who will take cycles, and that's totally fine. Do what you want. It's your body. But I just urge you to do your research and be safe about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, more raw content. Wow, wrong. <laughs> more raw comment. More raw content. More raw content coming soon. <laughs> More We're all answering raw you guys' questions. Content. So, yeah, keep it basic. And also, this video is sponsored by halfwicked.com. <laughs>